can't get a break. Microsoft's hitting the tube in a big way to promote next week's launch of its highly anticipated Halo 3, the latest of the hit series for the Xbox console. This is the biggest marketing push yet for a video game, but will it pay off? Libby Goad is editor-in-chief for AOL Game Daily, and Dan Ackerman is editor of CNET.com. Thanks to both of you for joining us. Dan, Halo 3 hits the shelves on Tuesday. How big of a deal is this? This is a really big deal for Microsoft because the other big holiday game everyone's been waiting for, Grand Theft Auto 4, has been delayed until next year. And that leaves the playing field wide open for Halo to come in and be the dominant player this holiday season. Libby, I know this is the big wrap-up in a trilogy. How much is riding on this game's success? I mean, a lot of it's riding for Microsoft, especially as they want to pull ahead in the big console wars in the U.S. How are they doing in the console war, Libby? Uh, in the U.S., they're number two to Nintendo's Wii. I don't know if you're familiar with the Wii, but it's... Yes. Okay. I, I mean, who doesn't know about the Wii these right. days? Right, exactly. So, you know, all kinds of people are playing it, even not traditional gamers. And Microsoft, you know, they want a piece of that pie. So they're hoping that Halo 3 will get people to get out there and buy that console. Dan, we were just looking at some video of the game. I got to say, I mean, I'm not a gamer, but it did not look very exciting. Well, it's kind of like a big action movie. If you're not into that big kind of die-hard explosions of running around with guns thing, then it's not going to be for you. But for, you know, mainstream uh, kids, teenagers, young adults, people in their 20s and 30s, you know, it's like a fun Saturday afternoon. It's not very deep. How does it stack up against something like Grand Theft Auto or Madden Football or the, or the other ones you hear about? I think it really appeals more to the Madden crowd because a big part of it is the online multiplayer where you play online against your okay. friends while GTA is more of a single-player game. Dan, Microsoft is spending about $10 million to market this game. Is that a lot? That is a lot for a game, and you're going to see more of that going forward because they're treating these like big movie events because the returns can be the same as a huge blockbuster movie. It, it, and so we always say, you know, with these blockbusters, there's the anticipation and the reality. Libby, what are your projections for Tuesday's release? Uh, it's going to be a big day. They have one million pre-orders, which is pretty much unprecedented in video game history. Uh, they have a lot of huge launch events planned. They're going to have events on Spike TV, uh, the Sci-Fi Channel, and uh, it's, it's going to be, I predict, huge sales. Huge sales. All right. Well, we got you on the record there. So thanks to both of you for joining us. We'll see how it turns out. And you want more Halo 3? We have full coverage right here on The Money Monday night. You don't want to miss it. Still ahead on The Only Place for Your Money. Hot, hot, hot. What you can do to fireproof your home and lower your insurance.